Hi, welcome to Click Geek, part 14 of this series. In this session, we are going to look at in detail about text object, button object, and various actions that can be done in Click View text and button objects through. Okay, so let's switch to Click View quickly. So here I have uh, three sheets. Right, so namely main, sheet 1 and sheet 2. So I'm going to create a text object. Text object is also a sheet object. So for that, go to text object. And give a name. Text object. And press on OK. It seems to be a simple and normal pain like but you can use this as a powerful navigation icon or else powerful uh, place or as powerful event generation mechanism so how can we do that so click view provide certain actions that can be triggered through these text object click events so if i click on this it will generate an event so what kind of actions you want to perform after generating that event so let's go to properties there you can find an action button so there you have option to add it so you can add all these type of actions we'll see that later quarter of time so then go to font you can customize the form the text that is there in this apart from the customization of text either you can add image as well or here also you can use any of the images through this instead of a color of the back let's add a good color to it background color let's make it green and the font so i want the font color to be white and the size 14 so if any shadow is required we can place that as well now then this so layout it has the same features as uh, other objects it can i mean borders can be there so we haven't enabled the advanced editing mode let's go to document properties draw d for the uh, shortcut control alt d and then press advanced and apply there you can find the rounded corners so i don't want rounded corner for top right and uh, bottom left so this is the style okay now so let's go to actions mm, here you can do multiple things Let's create a list of arts first. Uh, make it as company or else country. Let's make it country. Here I have this one. Now go to text box, text object, and uh, add an action to it. So there are the first selection. So under the selection, you can select a value in field. How to do that? So select in field, select, I mean, uh, you can select either of the action so i'm going to select this one and which value i want to select in mean, which field so country field so what value remove this one to be selected i want to select canada by default else whenever i have selected that i mean whenever i clicked on that object so Canada should be get selected. Set. I'm going to click on text object. Then it has selected Canada. So now what I'll be doing is now I'll, I'll just delete this, add another action. So select excluded means it will be selecting the other values than the selected. So on which field, let's make it country because there are some values that are already being selected this on okay canada is selected if i click on this one button except canada the remaining will get selected click on this now see you can see so 
this is how we can add actions to it. How many types of actions are there? Selection, layout, bookmark, print, and external. So in this, you can either clear all back, forward selection, locking the fields. So clearing the fields, clear all. Let's say it clear all. Means it will clear all the selections. You can perform likewise in the selection. Okay. So in the layout, this is for switching it between uh, different sheets. Okay, it's like switching it between different web pages. So you can activate the object, you can activate the sheet uh, with the sheet ID, you can activate next sheet. Let's select activate next sheet, what it will do. I'm, I'm going to click on this text object, then it has more navigated to sheet one. Okay, this is how we can switch in between different sheets. This is for next sheet. Suppose I assume that from here to I want to navigate to sheet number two. So just check take a uh, sheet ID and then go to main right click and properties of the text object, then add select layout under layout activate sheet then we are supposed to provide the sheet ID here. So now I am in main sheet. If I click on this one, it will navigate me to sheet two. So now you can find. This is how you can use the uh, layout action. Along with this, we have minimizing the object and maximizing the object. So how that minimize and maximize will work. So it's pretty much same as the windows uh, minimize and maximize and restore. Okay, and then bookmark. So you can uh, create a bookmark with a selection. Suppose assume I have few selections. So France and Hungary. So and I'm uh, for creating bookmark, you have to go to bookmark tool. Or else this shortcut is control B. So it is like France. Or else make a short name F and H. Bookmark name. And okay. Clear all properties. Add bookmark. Apply bookmark. ID. So there you can find here bookmark ID BM01. Okay, for that control. Shift B is the shortcut, right? So if you want to clear all the bookmark, you can just remove those things. This is how you can use the bookmark. Let's go to properties and action. Let's see the other print it for printing an object, printing a sheet, or printing a report. Right? Printing report means uh, you can uh, create a PDF report, and your server must be having the PDF distributor and uh, the PDF distribution license then only it is possible and under external so you can export data or you can launch an application or you can open an URL so open a click view document you can run a macro or else you can set a variable value this is very uh, useful let's see the set variable feature so I'm going to add V show And this we show has a, va I mean, a value assigned to it that is minus one means true right so if i want to show this chart if the v show is this returning true means v show condition enabling and uh, let's go there and set variable value so which variable I want to update that variable name we show and then what I want to do here is I want to toggle in between the values for that equals to not of v show so what it will do is if the value is zero then it will make minus one when I click it so if the value is minus one then it will do not of that means it will be a false true to false false true. let's try that click on this so this is how you can use the variables to show and hide 
uh, the charts or else sheets as well it will work on a sheet so we have uh, three sheets right let's play with the sheet go to current properties of the sheet and there you can find a general so under general you have conditional so let's make it as we show so this is applicable for sheets as well let's go there if i know i make this one minus one you can see the stripe table and whether this is sheet 2 or disabling and enabling when i'm toggling the values with the text object so this is how uh, setting variable value as an add-on and go to external you can launch uh, you can reload reload is not available through access point okay until you're using uh, internet uh, explorer with its plugin and as well as some settings enabled it uh, not sure whether it is working in current version or not right you can open new or you can launch an application as well so these are all the things we want uh, we have under actions right so now we'll find what is the difference between text object and a button let's this is a text object let's create a button button so enable condition nothing is there let's say button one and actions it is also designed for create i mean uh, performing actions only so external and also so let's set we show only we show equals to node of v show let's press ok except the feel of clicking on a button the text object and button object will do the same but the text object is more customizable in uh, making it more visually appealing so you can apply a plain style or else you can make it you can add an image to it or else you can make single combined images like that so you feel like you're hitting on a button if you're using a button so or else both are both will do the same um, functionality pretty much right so that's all for uh, today's session thanks for watching the video please do subscribe